Good morning. My name is Melvin Sandoval. Everyone knows me as Junior and my friends, colleagues, and everything like that. I'm here to introduce you to an idea I have. It's called Healthy Plate. Now, if I get some volunteers, did everybody stop and eat breakfast this morning? Any show of hands? What'd you guys eat? A banana and a muffin. Nice. How about you? A granola bar. Nice. Um, what I'm going to introduce you today is about a little bit about healthier eating, a few other things like that. Um, the thing about it is, is a lot of people tend to just go grab whatever and do whatever. How many like grilled cheese sandwiches? Cool. We're going to watch a quick video and then I'll get started with the presentation. Officially the biggest health crisis in American, American adults obese, and today a government panel issued a brand new plea for all of us to change how we eat. Here's Lindsay Davis. <laughs> we all understood the old food pyramid. Grains on the bottom, oils on top. Every five years they changed the guidelines, and today the USDA made the recommendations for how to cut the fat in 2010. Eat more fruits and vegetables with only moderate amounts of lean meats and eggs. Put that, that salt shaker down. You should cut out at least half a teaspoon of sodium a day. Eat less solid or saturated fat. So cut down on things like processed meats. The saturated fat should account for 7% of total calories. That's about a slice and a half of bacon. Nutritionists say obesity is the biggest threat to public health. In the last 30 years, obesity rates for kids have tripled. These represent the most aggressive and forward-thinking guidelines. The problem is many of us are in denial about what we eat. Take a stab at how many milligrams of sodium are in your grilled cheese. Oh. Oh. Cheese sandwich. What would you think? I would imagine it's a fair amount. I don't know, maybe... 40%? She's wrong. Two slices of American cheese melted in between two slices of white bread and a tablespoon of butter adds up to 1,135 milligrams of sodium. Based on today's recommendations, she's just consumed 76% of her sodium allowance for the day. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York. Okay, so I like grilled cheese too. It's awesome. I mean, how can you not like it? You know, it's really good stuff. Now that's just uh, some of the sodium intake we take. Sodium turns into sugar, which turns into fat. That's all there is to it. I know. <laughs> I got a little hair. Anyways, uh, obesity, you know, chubby, fat, gluttony. What does that mean, really? What it really means is you're overindulging, gulping down a little extra that you probably shouldn't be and just taking your time and eating a little slower. Those types of things are very positive. Now, me, myself, and my family, I look out for them. Uh, my mom's got diabetes, it's full blown. Uh, I've already told you guys a little bit about the cancer, that's another thing that she has. A skip generation, my sister, she was 14 when she got it. She's about 44 now. She is, it's just bad. It's from, me, it's from unhealthy eating. My little sister now has it, skipping generations. I have also my niece that just had it, that she's got gestational. So. It's a really big thing in my family, and that's where I'm at with it today. So I think I'm going to try to do something about it. So I came up with an idea of healthy plate. And um, we all love food. Food's great. I love to eat. I can't help it. If it's good food, I'm there. Mexican, Chinese, you name it, German food, I am there. Now, now I'm going to tell you a little bit about a little bit of healthy eating, and we'll go into this. The mission statement, what I'm trying to do here is to improve healthier eating habits to help people who are actually suffering from any of those type of disorders, uh, diabetes, you know, and attain a healthier lifestyle. You know, if you're jogging, you're running, you're already in shape, it doesn't matter. At one time, it was where I was growing up and it was something small, and it was you're on the field and someone cracks at you, or you're on the football team, whatever, I've been on all the sports. Got in great shape at one time, you know, I'm a little stocky, but... You know, after that, I stopped working out, stopped doing that, stopped eating healthy, and then I started gaining weight, realized that I couldn't control that because of eating, and I was on eating healthy and eating too much. So that was some of it. Now, with the idea of the healthy plate, I'm looking for my target market. Uh, target market is where I see the healthy plates for everyone. There's not one person that would enjoy something like this or at least use it 
some part of their life or a daily value. Um, it's for diabetes. I'm, I'm actually on that. There's other disorders that people do have where they don't eat. So this can teach them, hey, this is how much you should eat if you're going to eat that way. You know, you're a little more comfortable and you're not going to get sick or you're not going to feel, you know, too full or whatnot. Now, if all of it's with everyday healthy living and also children. A lot of children don't know as well. The good thing is, is some of the schools that are going on right now, like I can say for Atlas, they send home a whole calorie list of what they're feeding the kids and what they get on a daily basis. So it's whatever, you know, some of you are moms and dads out there, so you can understand that those children that you send to school, it's what you're giving them, it's what you're showing them, and what they're you going to know when they grow up and, you know, for next generation, next generation. So you always want to teach that. That's something I do in my life. That's just my opinion. Now, the product innovation, creating new solution people needs. Steve Jobs is the number one person I think in my life in innovation. He's innovated our whole life self since 76. He did that in his basement making that first computer. Then he went upstairs to his garage, him and his uh, friend Wozniak. They were millionaires by the age 23 to 25. They're unbelievable. So anything can happen for him and any innovation or marketing, branding. You know, you're making a positive outlook on health. That's what I plan on doing with my branding, as well as my pricing. I'll have innovating pricing strategies. You know, you buy this, you get something for free, or you do this, or whatever. Pricing now, and anything like that. Now, the value and the benefits of this is it's the meat and potatoes. Literally, <laughs> the meat and potatoes is what you're eating or what you're doing, you know, with your lifestyle altogether. And this is me sharing my vision and my thing, the things that I've learned in research for a personal idea. I picked this because it's it's easy to pick a business and talk a lot about you know businesses because you see them out there are easier to research. This is actually a really hard situation to research because you're trying to put your idea into effect. Now um, there is something out there that Michelle Obama's done. She has taken our food our food pyramid and changed it in. Every five years as you see they change it. And she has changed it into myplate.org. All it is is another food pyramid. There's nothing there. Now what I'm going to show you right now, I didn't, be, I wasn't able to bring my prototype. I have a prototype that's being made right now, and I'm trying to go forward with it to see what I can do. And there's, it's just the one. Um, there's a lot of days that are involved for certain people. Like my mom, she's got to have one for every day of the week. She's got to have like nine pills a day just to stay alive. So I don't want to end up in that position. So I'm going to take charge now. Maybe I can help her and help other people in the same sense. Now I'm going to show you just a quick. Uh, view of what my prototype would look like. I don't have something for you today, but if I, when I get it done, I'll bring it in as well. Now, it's kind of hard to see. I can't really get in there. But as you see, it's a plate. Literally. It's a plate. Colors. Um, some people who grew up in the 80s can probably uh, uh, register what I'm saying. Richard Simmons. Of all people, the guy that kicked with his little curly hair running around and screaming, blah, 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 and get into shape and all that. He actually had a great idea. He came up with some food ideas back then that weren't ready for you know, the public and to go into America at that time, which would have been a real good idea if he did go about that. But if you can, it's hard to see this, and I apologize. But anyways, every color represents what you should be eating versus what... Um, how, many, how much your portions are. It's a portion size. This right here is 34%. This is 33%. This is really just a three ounce piece of meat. I'll tell you what, I'll go to steakhouse. I'll order an eight ounce steak. I mean, I want a big chunk of steak and mm, it tastes good, you know? And then also here, you're going to put in a cup of rice. I mean, it's literally set up to where it's portioned. So when you go to make dinner, it's, it's really easy to just go over and grab a cup and just put a cup of rice on there. It might not look like much, but honestly, some people who don't eat like that, like I don't, I overeat. You know, I'll put two cups of rice. Oh, I'm still hungry. Another cup. Then finally hits my stomach, and then I'm over, just overindulged at this point. So, you know, you got your fruits, your vegetables. It's all right there. Um, that is just line for line, plate for plate, piece for piece. You know, stick with your dairies and all your four food groups. We've been founded on that, let alone not to be eating like that. I wanted to show another video today, but I didn't want to gross anybody out. <laughs> McDonald's and all of them, I don't know if anyone knows exactly how they make their nuggets, how they make their foods. I quit fast foods a long time ago, a long time ago. I actually eat, cook, and do all that, and I've lost a, lot, a ton of weight from it, so I'm pretty happy about that. Exercise is an everyday event. 
you know, whether you're walking to class, parking further out, whatever it may be, that helps too. So it's just not about healthy eating. It's also, it takes a little exercise to help you out to get further. But behind the closed doors, you don't even want to know what they do. And they mechanically just split everything apart and they sell everything. They don't take the eyeballs and put them over here and say, you don't eat those. No, they throw those in there too with the little things, bones and stuff they get to put in there. So, you know, healthy eating is where it's at. I just I have to say it. That's where I'm at today. And um, that's pretty much it. Any questions?